a wee dram being savoured thousands of miles away from the casks it came from. The United States is the most valuable export market for scotch and although profits aren't yet back to pre-pandemic levels, the suspension of costly tariffs last summer has already helped whisky bars like this one in New York City. The tariffs were misguided, unfair and I think if they'd lasted much longer it would have been a great threat to Scotch whisky. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about Scotch. I think the future for Scotch is very strong. The desire to learn about Scotch and to experience Scotch is only increasing in this market. And I think it, it, the, the runway is long and, and the future is bright. Despite COVID and supply chain issues creating a challenging trading environment here, demand for Scottish whisky remains high, meaning there's plenty for Scottish businesses to toast to including the appointment of the Scottish Government's first US trade envoy. Tartan Day, Tartan Week is a huge opportunity for us to, to build on the centuries of goodwill and connections that there have been between Scotland and both the United States and Canada. It's going from strength to strength and I think we should be really excited about what it is and what it can be in the future. And that's music to the ears of businesses like Anna's. Based in Edinburgh, their tartan textiles are so popular across the pond, they've just opened up their first shop in the States. We've just grown that market. When we were locked in during COVID, we spent a lot of time doing research and finding out where those customers were. And realistically, we think we could double the size of the business um, through trade in the US. We had definitely some expansion on the, on the cards. Hopes are high this momentum could lift an historic ban on haggis exports, with Scotland's largest producer hungrily eyeing up the market. By all accounts, we could have haggis um, in the States, Boston Tandrews, this year. I am very hopeful because it's the, it's the most positive sign that I've had that you know we are at the final um, stage of this process. Um, and if we get all our ducks lined up, it, it may just well happen. With Scottish gins rumoured to be the next big thing to break America, business looks bright for Scotland's larder.